All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I'm picking up right where I left off about 10 seconds ago. I just said goodbye. That'll that exit or one of those exits will take you to that there. Actually, I need to go in there. <laughs> She's a long last walk too, because that'll take you over to this secret. We've already been up to the one on the top left. But this is the chocolate secret, and that's the Bowser Valley. Obviously, we've already seen that. There's a blog there, so you might want to be careful before you jump. But if you have Yoshi, it's fine because you can just step on the blogs. Come on, Buzzy Beetle, Buzzeetle. Buzz Beetle. Don't with your footballs. Oh god, no Yoshi! <sighs> can you can you get that or is that gonna be a problem? Yeah, this is the first time you actually they actually have footballs though. Chuck and Chuck, because it's always it's been baseballs mostly before. And the ba the footballs are so bad because it's like Oh you dick. Oh look at him up there with his smug ass fucking face. But yeah, because the footballs bounce like in such an irregular pattern because they're not round, right? Just like the guys in Mega Man 10. And I think they're in Mega Man 9 too. No, I'm pretty sure it's Mega Man because yeah, because they started in Blitzman stage. Oh, thank God, I was holding. Get that mushroom, man. Get it. Oh, and then take. That's the thing. There's no invent. Shit. Oh my God. There's like no invincibility at all once you get the power up. There's invincibility when you take the hit, but. God, man. Yeah, don't go through that way again. Can you just stop it? You make me really sad. Can we get up there with that? Yes, we can. Once again, I'm like leaning to the right. My leg's asleep now. Like the, Earlier it was my foot, but now it's my, my whole knee. Whee. Oh god, let go of that. Yeah, you won't be able to get the combos unless you throw the buzzy beetles, but I don't really care about the combos right now. I just care about getting to the level. Make sure you avoid the, those clap traps there. No, they're not clap traps. God. The clap traps are worse. But that's pretty much it for the level, so. Oh, am I wrong? Yeah. Spiny Valley here. They have such a simple color scheme, too. Oh, God, I don't like doing this part. Especially if I could take a hit too, because that just makes me even more nervous. Like, it feels like when you're big, you go a little bit slower, but it's a little more easier to control. It's probably just me, it's probably no difference whatsoever. But I know I've heard other people say that. I know I know I can't kill him with it, but it makes me feel better about myself. I just don't like these parts. And that's probably annoying how I get a little high pitched and freaked out <laughs> like that. When I'm about to die or something or go through something scary, but you know, it's not my fault. I just can't help it. That's how, that's how it is. Now everyone's probably like that. Most people- Oh, we broke a million points, too. Nice. Yeah, like I said, Chocolate Land is really not that bad. The secret there, that's probably the worst level in the entire <clears throat> world. No, actually, Wendy's Castle is pretty annoying, too. It's just This is like Force of Illusion, where there's just so many exits. Well, this one's a bitch sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Only when it doesn't get what it wants. Which is my demise. But I think this is probably easier with the fire flowers because they're... Actually, no, it's not true at all. Because the Koopas aren't a big issue. But the fuzzies that you find... Oh! Are, I, sh I should go in there, actually. What is in there? I can't remember. I think it's something stupid, like more of those falling platforms and hammer bros, so screw it, man. Is this Yoshi? No. Glad I'm taking it. Taking it in good faith. There's a lot of blue Koopas here. Yeah, those fuzzies there. Well, it is just because it's the... What do you call it? Oh, the secret exit. That's, that's what's in one of those pipes. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, thank god. No, the secret is- is it up here? No, this is the regular exit, yeah. Oh, you know what it is. Yeah, I totally forgot about this. So, actually, I want to get him out of his shell. So you come back, you wake up, I'm gonna kick you out of your house. Oh god, he's pissed. <laughs> yeah, you make sure- you want to make sure that he's out of there. So this is how you get to the other exit. Just float underneath. And that's all there is to it, baby. And then you got your one up here for good measure, which I will take. Oh, I got one of them. Oh, nice. I got a flower. Or feather. 
If I call it a flower, then just fuck it, because I'm gonna keep calling it a flower. It's only 7.30 and it's already dark out, man. I love winter. Has the times changed yet? I don't know. Oh, well, let's go get that secret, the other exit. If I had Yoshi, I'd just take a blue shell. Oh, shit. Oh, this was a very bad idea. Oh, thank god. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know if it's like daylight savings already. Because I thought it was supposed to be, but... I forgot if I remember. Can't keep up with that crap, man. It's so annoying when it happens to you. It's nice when you have the time go back, so it's like... Oh, actually, this happened to me once when I was working overnight. So I think how it works is like, sometimes... I can't remember which way it goes, but, you know, sometimes the... Oh, god. The time will move forward, and sometimes the time will move back. One, or it's one or the other, obviously. And sorry, I have to scratch my face. Just get on with your goddamn story, dumbass, because you always do this. And you always make excuses like that to just... Okay. So it was like, when I worked overnight, it would be like, until 7 in the morning. But one night when it was daylight savings, I think it was like, the time changed. Actually, was this me or was this somebody else? I can't remember. But the time changed, and it was like, it would go from 12 to 1. And then it would be like 12 to 1, and then after, once it hit 1, 1 a.m., it would hit 1 a.m. again. Like 1.59, it would turn into 1 a.m. again or something like that. It's just so annoying. Oh man, what I'm not looking forward to is hearing Christmas music all the time. Because I, I like Christmas time, I really do. That's This is the only thing that happens when you get the secret, I don't know why. But, it's just, oh, I'm so sick of Christmas music. Christmas is fine, I just don't like Christmas music. I love Christmas, it's just, can't stand it, man, I just can't. And like right at midnight at work on December 1st, the Christmas music starts. Right at midnight. If there's another song playing, it'll get cut out for Christmas music. Yeah, watch out for those pencils, man. I don't need that, but it's a thousand points, so I might as well take it. <clears throat> oh, wait, thanks a lot. Actually, I could just run across that. What? Don't ever do that again. You know what? Like, how surprised I get. Like, it's like, dude, you knew it's coming. I knew it was coming. I knew I wasn't going to make it across that. I'm like, this is too good to be true. They put those pencils there for a reason. Fucking sharp, pointy sticks. Come on now. I had this weird dream the other night where I was like, in like a. Are you fucking me in the ass? Um, I was in like a wool suit, like in the 70s or something like that. I don't know why. And I went to this weird island on like. One of those glider boat things, like, that you'd see on, like, <laughs> the glades or whatever. And I just can't remember what I was doing, but I don't know, I was just... Fuck. You're a dumb piece of ass. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just one of those things, like, I like talking about my dreams, but... You know, I'm not gonna remember every detail, so I'll probably, like, get into talking about them, and then... They just, it'll just stop abruptly because it's like, well, there's no end because I don't remember the end. Oh, you thwimp. You, oh my god. Yeah, I totally forgot about thwimps. Like in this level, I mean. Thwomps are no problem. Fuck. Just the thwimps, man. Oh, thank god that was badass. Oh my god, and I survived that too. Come on. Thankfully, the thwimp will be stopped there by the red blocks. Oh man. Who's. Oh, this is just a fortress, jeez. I could probably just spin bounce over those guys, but I'm not gonna be taking those chances. I don't like my odds, man. Can you draw, please? Thank you. Please tell me there's a, f uh, a feather at the end of this. I think there is. I like how they stop that one from you, but not this one. Like with the. The exclamation blocks. This is a weird door. It's brown. Oh my god, that was so cool. What I'd really like to do is be able to like stay on the platform. Yeah, I can. yeah, like that. Not having to jump on the things. But you have to be careful because if you take too much time, and you'll fall in the, the whatever. Actually, I think if you're standing there, as the screen's going black, like the platforms will still disappear, but you'll be fine. I think if you if you can't control it anymore, then you'll be fine. Nice, only 23 minutes. Well, actually, it's probably like however many minutes into the next video now. 10 or whatever. Can you. S oh, I don't need to pr do that to go through that one. That's. <laughs> dummy. <clears throat> oh, God, I don't like this level. 
this is where we first see Mega Moles. Actually, have we seen Mega Moles yet? Probably. I'm just forgetting. But there's a lot of brown goop in this level, which is scary, because it's like boiling water or something. I don't know. Mud? Quicksand? The quickening? I don't know. And I do want to go for those 1-ups, because why not? They're sitting right there. And we're safe to go down here, because we have the blue switch. Which, at this point in time, sometimes I don't have it, because... <clears throat> um, sometimes I'll forget to go to the, get the blue switch in the lake. But after doing so much practice, I'll never forget that again. Yeah, there's a Mega Mole down there. You might have just saw it. I think you can eat them, but I don't know. It's like their hideout is down here. And then he just goes and sits in the tar. Man, I'm really not looking forward to the Star World. Because, like, I'm thinking now that I'm almost up to... I'll probably stop at Wendy's Castle. Actually, I don't even know if I'll make it that far. And then the next recording, it'll be Bowser's World. But that's going to take some tries. Like, holy shit. And then... What else? And there's the Star Worlds, and I want to show, go ahead and show like all these Switch Palaces. This level's really easy if you just don't bother with any of, this, any of the Switches, but I want to get Yoshi, so... Because there's no secret here, so I don't even... I don't need to worry about it. It's just super easy to get through if, if you don't press any Switches, because those guys will just get freed, so... Get threed. One thing I didn't do in my Earth... Oh, shit. In my Earthbound file was... What the hell is that? What did I bounce off of? Um, I didn't go back and like look at the world after I already beat the game, which I really wish I did. I don't know if I can go back and do that, like after the game's already been saved. I would hope that you could, I just haven't gone and tried yet. But I didn't do that, and I know there's a whole ton of shit that you can, um... Oh, what dick. No, Yoshi! You guys are assholes. Fucking the football players are always assholes, man. If you're a football player, I'm sorry. I don't mean no offense to you, but fucking jocks. But yeah, I want to go back and play Earthbound and see if see all the differences in the game after you beat it. Yeah, may as well. We can get through Wendy's Castle. Go to Wendy's. Get a frosty. I want to go to Wendy's, man. If you've ever had a Baconator, oh my god, I'm not even gonna talk about that. I can't remember Wendy's Castle at all. Is this the one with the spite? Oh, it is. Shit. It's not as bad as the Valley Fortress, though. That one's an ass. It's actually... Well, it is, but it's not that bad once you get the pattern down. The best thing to do it is with the feather. A lot of people think it's harder to do it with the feather, but I think it's... There's a specific way you have to do it, and you have to time things really perfectly. Oh, fuck, of course. Please let me get that mushroom. Please! Why? Why would you do that? I think there's a feather up here, though. This reminds me of Mega Man 2. I don't know why. Like, um, a like, cut Crash Man stage. Just with all the wires going different ways. As you're going up the platforms, I knew I could have made that, but you know, I'm not taking any chances. Not taking any pantses, because I'm scared. Oh, that's intimidating. Just pounding the things with big schlongs. Oh, oh god, no! The thing with the thing with that is, even if you take damage, you could still potentially get killed by that. Because if you get stuck in it, get crushed, then you know there's nothing you can do. Oh, Sparkies, Sparky Andersons, and Hotheads. Oh, I don't like those jumps, especially in Mega Man, where the platforms like, like you know what I mean? <laughs> like. <laughs> The platforms are on the platform below you that you're jumping off of, and the platform above you are of equal length, so you can hit your head. Those are always the worst. Even in this game, it's not as bad, but it's still kind of scary. Oh, thank God! Now I remember Wendy's Fortress. God, do I ever! No! Why did you spin? What? Did I have a mushroom in my pocket? Dude, I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, once we get through Wendy's Castle, that'll be it for this video. Oh, fuck. Well, even if I did get hit through that, I still would have got the feather, so... Yeah, 28 minutes, we're doing good. This one's, I think, is easier. Like, even though there's more... <clears throat> um... Fire? But the, the pipes are of equal length, so it's not that bad. But I'm so tempted to jump on the yellow ones, because I think the last one, we had to jump on the yellow one, but now we're jumping on the pink one. Damn, Wendy. Yeah, because Wendy's pink, but in this one she's red. Another example of the differences. Oh, we're running out of time. 
Well, that's that. That's that for this one. <clears throat> see ya! No, we'll see, the, we'll see the description of the thing. We're only up to 29 minutes. Oh, I th oh, God. I looked at my recorder and it was like stuck on 29 minutes. It wasn't... Maybe that was just a really long second. I don't know. I like the background here. It looks cool. Like with the sunset shade and all that. And he just wipes it away. I thought you were part of a wrecking crew, not a painter's crew. Wendy Okupa in Castle Number no. 6 has sung her last song. Mario must, Luigi must meet the challenge that is now before him. There's a sunken ship that appears to <coughs> be a gateway to the Valley of Bowser. Thank you! Yeah, so, yeah, so next time we'll be going to the, the sunken ship, hopefully getting through that in, like, less than 80 tries. And then we'll be going to the, the Bowser's Valley, um, Star Worlds, and then hopefully beating Bowser. Well, Bowser's the easy part, the Star World's the hard part. But yeah, so I have to get this done. Actually, I have plenty of time. Just shut up. Just shut up, okay? We'll talk about all that later. So, um, yeah, see you guys next time for Luigi. Super Luigi World. Bye now.